Hello and welcome to the channel. So in this video we are going to be 3D printing a whole bunch of cool little stuff for our mini colors. Landon is going to grab his as well. He has a Chevy C10 so we're gonna make a whole bunch of cool stuff. Let's hop onto my computer real quick and I will show you guys what we're going to print. Okay so now we are here in Cura. So a few of the things we're going to print. These are the uh, high clearance links for my deadbolt C10 ones for Landon's car. There we go. All right. Yeah. Now let's go put the micro SD card in the printer and start printing things. So now let's go here out of home. Grab the little micro SD card. Stick that in there, and then. We should, we go, should at least have all, yep, there we go, all the stuff in there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to try is printing a little servo uh, screw cover. So basically, what that is for is right here, you see this little screw that sticks out. That is with um, this new servo, uh, the servo horn is a lot different, so the screw sticks out. And it's so annoying because it just catches on everything you try and climb over. So hopefully this will solve the problem and just pop right on it. So we just have to select that. And then it's everything's heating up to the right temperature and then we will print it off. All right, it's done. That did not take very long, and when it was doing a little outline there, it, it messed up on the outline a bit. But I think the actual the actual thing looks pretty good. So I'll take it off and try and throw it on. Okay, here we go. So tiny. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put it on off camera. There we go. It's on now. The screw no longer sticks out. So hopefully, hopefully this works. Um, not really sure how much it'll do, but hopefully it does a little bit at least. So those links just failed, uh, but we're gonna try some other stuff here in a minute to try and make it work. So we changed some settings, um, and now we're going to try it again just to see, maybe it'll work this time, uh, the C10 front links this time. All right, here we go, let that heat up. Oh. No! Stop, stop. No! No! Oh, wait, I didn't hit confirm. Oh, man. Oh, oh dear. Alrighty, it's been a couple days, and now I think I have everything sorted out. Um, I just had to change a couple settings, and I was trying to level the bed using a G code for it uh, that I found on Thingiverse, but that actually didn't work. So that's kind of unfortunate. I just had to level it. Oh, doing everything myself just so it gets to the exact right height um, and also I finished printing out these high clearance links for the deadbolt um, and now it is printing the high clearance links for Landon's uh, C10 so hopefully that works There we go, it's all looking super duper nice, the, uh, the time lapse there actually just about killed the GoPro battery, it was at like 13% recharge now. Um, now we just have to pull all of this off, ah, there we go, and take all the brim and extra stuff off of it. These actually turned out pretty good, they, yeah, they stuck down to the bed perfectly fine, I just printed super nice. Um, so now we have these for Landon C10, and these for my deadbolt, and the difference actually is um, the rear links are a bit longer for the deadbolt than they are for the C10. So right now I'm going to try to print the cap for Landon's car. So it, it says it's going to take about 5 hours and 34 grams of filament, which is quite a lot because I have it uh, set to use supports 
and all that so it doesn't will just collapse on all the overhangs. So I'm a bit scared for this because if it messes up like halfway through that's a lot of filament that's just gonna be wasted so hopefully it works. If it doesn't, not, I'm, I might scream. Yeah, so we're, we're all gonna hope that it works. It's going, let's hope it doesn't mess up. It, it looks, the skirt's good, so I think I leveled the bed right. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna be a pretty, pretty huge. About 20 minutes in, and so far it's looking great. Hopefully it just keeps doing well, because I really don't want it to mess up. It's still printing, going strong. It, it looks super nice so far, and it says that it is 20% complete, if you can even read that. Um, and also, Landon's here, and Yo. we are putting on these high clearance links. So, in the normal links, it's kind of hard to see, bad lighting, um, you can see there's this little piece in there. Uh, it's like a little pivot thing, whatever you want to call it. There's probably a better name for it, but we can't take those out. I don't, it's probably possible, but... I uh, at least couldn't get it, so we're just putting them in without that. Now we can kind of see how much more clearance that gives you. So it actually gives quite a bit more. I'm not sure how much it will actually do when you put the wheels back on, but hopefully it does a little bit. So yeah. It's really coming along now, it's getting, getting up pretty high. Now for the little crawler here. Um, we actually got all the links put on, so they work pretty well. Well, I haven't tested them yet, but they fit on there nicely. And also, uh, a while ago, I got this little heat sink for it, but I never figured out how to put it on. So I guess I just had, I, well, I thought I just had to peel off the sticker, because Landon said he had seen somewhere on YouTube that somebody just pulled off the sticker and then it worked. Um, so I pulled off the sticker, but then it still didn't work, so I actually had to take off because it was a bit blocked in there, so I actually just had to like rip off a piece of the, the metal on the side. Right here actually. Um, and now it fits great, so that's kind of nice. Here we go, it's all done. Did it work? Let's see, it looks looks like it did. It looks a bit like it might have, yeah, it looked a little droopy right there. But that's because I uh, messed up the uh, support settings. So there was no supports there. But we just gotta take out the window supports and then we can see how it really looks. All the supports are off and it looks pretty nice. It's, yeah, it looks amazing. Haha, <laughs> look at this, it fits. It looks so nice. This is amazing. Yeah, so cool. So, so cool. If you wanna see more about these 3D printed upgrades and stuff and a running video of all this, click on the screen right here, right there. Go click on that right now, unless you already watched that video. Then, I mean, you can still click on it, but yeah, whatever. And of course, check out Always RC's channel, link in the description, and subscribe to everybody.